Okay, so now that I've got my definition in mind, I've logged into my Google account. I've printed out my definition. Again, that's my best prospect is someone who already knows about the power of subliminal messaging and is actively searching the internet to find the best solution for presenting messages to themselves. So I've got my definition in front of me to help me stay focused. And I've clicked on tools after I've logged into my Google account. And I'm gonna come right down here and I'm gonna click on keyword tool. And here's the keyword tool. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in the one word which best represents that ideal prospect for me. So someone who already knows about the power of subliminal messaging and is actively searching for the internet to find the best solution for, their, for themselves to present messages to themselves. For me, selling a subliminal message software program would be subliminal software. Let's see what happens if I do that. Make sure descriptive words and phrases is clicked on. Don't worry about anything else. Make sure that use synonyms is clicked on click get keyword ideas. And then while the software is going out and getting all of the keywords, we could do one of two things. We could sing the get the keyword song. Oh, Google's getting keywords for me. I'm gonna stay nice and focused. When in doubt, leave it out. We'll leave those keywords out. Um, it's really important to combat internet ADD at this point because every keyword is related to hundreds of other keywords and there are trillions of searches. And if you're gonna get anywhere online, you really have to get out of that maze and get focused. So when in doubt, leave it out. So the question is, which of these keywords, and I'm gonna stay focused on the left -hand side here for you, so that I don't make you dizzy with the panning back and forth. The question is which of these keywords really represent someone who wants to program themselves with positive messages like the software we have at superchargeyourlife.com. So subliminal software for sure. Now for this one, just to demonstrate, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna click add. And if I were not recording this for you, I would be scrolling down and going across each time like this, but that's gonna make you dizzy. So I'm gonna stay here on the left-hand side and I'm just gonna talk you through which ones I'm taking. Subliminal recording software, yes, I would take that. Free subliminal software, yes. Free me subliminal message software. The reason is that these all meet my definition. People who already know about the power of subliminal messaging and are actively searching to find the best solution for presenting messages to themselves. You might say, well, wait a minute, do you want freebie seekers? I do because my method of marketing is with a long series of follow-ups where I deliver genuine, valuable content, I think it's not fair to ask people to buy from you until you've proven to them that you've got value to give them. And so I, I do very well with freebie seekers. And as a matter of fact, that's a competitive advantage for me because most people don't. So if you're not someone who likes to do that, um, or it's not your marketing model, you might want to further refine your definition you know, to avoid freebie seekers, but mine includes them. So usually, when you do this, most of the keywords in the top portion, by that I mean before Google tells you that there are additional keywords to consider, most of the keywords up here, most of them would be positive. And I would have added all of those. As a matter of fact, let's do that because we can add them all at once to the right-hand side. Um, let me go to the right-hand side for a moment and show you that here's my bucket. See where it says selected keywords? And what I'm decidedly not doing here is I'm not adding them to any AdWords group. That's something that you do once your project is already active and you're trying to expand existing AdWords groups that are working. But we don't have any AdWords groups that are working because we're just starting your keyword research. So I'm gonna be gathering this all in an Excel file. So when I'm done, I'm gonna click this and gather them in an Excel file. Um, anyway, let's go back over here and then let's scroll down and let's go to the additional keywords to consider. Now what Google is doing is it's saying, okay, you told me you want people interested in subliminal message software. Well, I gave you all the words and phrases that I know, you know, that have a reasonable amount of, of searching. Um, I gave you all the words and phrases that I know that are squarely 100% related to subliminal software. But you might also consider because from our trillions of data searches, we know that people that type in subliminal software 
that they also click on things like subliminal CD, subliminal self-help, subliminal tapes. And by the way, this is one of the reasons that you want to stay within Google for your keyword research to start with. And when you're just starting a project, you really don't have to get involved in all of the other keyword research tools. Those are helpful for you when you want to expand your project, when you want to go after the long tail, when you want to go wider than Google lets you go. But for all intents and purposes, you might as well, when you're just starting out, stay with this one free set of keyword research tools that Google provides. They've got trillions of data points. They've got hundreds, if not thousands, of rocket scientists, PhDs, figuring out how to make them simple and easy for you to use. So don't get sucked in by all the keyword research tools up front. If you're a little more advanced, um, you can go to paperclicktoolbox.com and there are some, uh, there's one or two tools that we use as, as paid research tools and click on that and we'll show you why. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through this. Subliminal CD, subliminal CD, subliminal self-help. All these things are people who are looking to program themselves with the power of subliminal positive messages. Subliminal learning, studio, hyp hypnosis. If it was just hypnosis by itself, I wouldn't take it, but since it says subliminal hypnosis, well, now wait a minute. These might not exactly meet my definition because there's probably a group of people who are interested in subliminal self-hypnosis. And remember, my program is a self-programming tool. But there's another group of people that probably wants to seduce girls without them knowing it. And that's not what my program does. So I think that I'm not going to take that one. That's going to be included in a closely related group of keywords, but it's not squarely in my bullseye. Right now I want keywords that are squarely in my bullseye. Subliminal mind control, subliminal tape. Subliminal tapes, yes. Mind control, no, because they could be wanting, wanting to control other people. Affirmations, definitely. Programming, probably. Disney subliminal messages, no. I'm not going to take that because I think that's people that are frightened that you know, Mickey Mouse is programming us to accept the devil or something like that. <laughs> so I'm not going to take that one. I, I, I have an evil sense of humor. You have to excuse me. I entertain myself when I do this. Um, and maybe I'll make the point that because this can be a little bit tedious, you have to find a way to make it fun for yourself. Scary subliminal messages, no. Those are people that are worried about what's in advertising. Messages in songs, no. I think those are people worried about being unduly influenced also. See, I'm, I'm looking for people who are positively disposed to subliminal messaging for themselves. Recording, probably. Those are people that want to record messages for themselves, for others. Program, definitely. Create subliminal, yes. Subliminal message is too broad. I'm not going to include that in my squarely related keywords. Subliminal weight loss, I am going to take that because that's someone who's probably already convinced that subliminal programming could help them lose weight. If it just said weight loss, and this is a very important distinction, if it only said weight loss, I would not take that here. Because even though subliminal messaging can help some people to lose weight, as a matter of fact, a lot of people that buy that program buy it for that purpose, even though it can help, the majority of people looking to lose weight are not convinced of that. And in my bullseye target keywords, the whole point is, I don't want to do any convincing. I just want to intercept people that know what they want. It's not a matter of whether they're going to buy a product in my category. It's a matter of which one. And I want to pull them downhill, just kind of lead them, you know, and, and have them go so fast downhill that they can't stop it to buy my program. So those are the people I want in my bullseye keywords. Some liminal videos, sure. CD, sure. Stop smoking. Same thing with weight loss. I'm going to take these people because they're convinced of the power of subliminal programming to stop smoking. Uh, messages is too broad, subliminal suggestion. That's going to be closely related, but not squarely in my bullseye because I don't know if they want to suggest it themselves or others. Subliminals, no. Training, I believe that they're looking for training themselves or training their mind themselves, or at least the large proportion of them are. So I'm going to take that. That's a little iffy, but I'm going to take it. How to make subliminal messages. I'm iffy about it, but I am going to take it. I think it's probably for themselves. And part of this is because I've browsed around on the internet and I've read the copy on the websites that are advertising for subliminal software. And I, I know the kind of things that they, that they write about. So I, I have a sense of what some of these words mean in some ways that maybe you don't yet, because I've done that browsing and I suggest you do that if you're a little confused about any of the words. Okay. So I think you get the idea.